Cell phone, car, gas. Those things are what we need for living for sure. For once in your life, you probably had a situation like you lost your phone or ran out of gas. And you feel annoying and angry. But what if you're living without anything like an ancient primitive tribe? In Tanzania, there's a tribe local calls Bushmen, the last hunter and gatherer in Africa, Hadzabe tribe. Hadza means human being in Hadza language. As it is, they're so friendly. When we get there, they were greeting so friendly. Fifty thousand years ago, the first Hadza lived in Tanzania. They made a house and sleep on the ground with a fire in a bush, and they honey with a bow and arrows. Right now, 2021, they're living exactly like that. They didn't change their lifestyle for 50,000 years. Before 18th century, their homeland was so wide, but after year and year, it reduced by an alien from other countries. They tried to make Hadza slave, but they refused it. Population of the tribe decreased in the late 19th century. Current population of Hadza is around 1,000, and only 200 of them are living like an ancient primitive tribe. Nowadays, they were getting threatened from modernism. They never had disease in their history, but after alien contacted with them, they started drinking alcohol and smoke weed. After 19th century, they have been suffered from a lot of disease. Alcohol and weed made them sick. And from a lot of reasons of living in the nature, their average lifespan is around 33 years old. There is a reason I said around. They don't have a concept of year. They don't count time. So they don't know their exact age. A few years ago, Tanzania government wanted to help them. They gave him cows, goats, and concrete house. But after a few days, they hunt them all the cows and goats. And they disappeared. And also they gave them a free education. But every time government brought them to the school, they disappeared. They could find children at their home. Government understood their lifestyle. So they found another way to help them. They made a tour. If people tour with them, they have to pay some fees to government and tour company. Some part of fees are gonna be for Hatta. But there's a problem. When they get money, they spend all for weed. Not for food, not for water. Only for weed. <laughs> According to some locals, the government knows they smoke weed, but they don't toss them. I don't think that's a good thing for them. If like this situation is gonna be happen, they're gonna be disappeared into history forever. Thank you for watching.